Syria and Judea recently joined our empire, but okay. I question the depth of their loyalty. Oh dear. We require a major new trading port in the reliable border state of Cilicia. I guess that's where I come in. Build a city of 6,000 at Tarsus to project okay. Rome's power near our new clients in the east. Easy peasy. You'll be pleased to know that you need not grow food in Tarsus. Oh, great. This desert province has no farmland whatsoever. That's not you good. must instead import all the food that you need. I'd rather not do that. Many of Rome's eastern provinces chafe under our rule, and our legions are needed on other frontiers. Hmm. You might face some military threats in the region. Okay. Although we have no sworn enemies there, neither do our allies waste any love on us. I see. Defend your city and raise a legion or two of your own. Okay. Unlike Hispania or Gaul, where the natives are easily impressed, this region of the world has known civilization since ancient times. Your city of Tarsus must therefore achieve high ratings if it is to demonstrate Roman superiority. I'm up to the task. Finally, you would do well to show them how profitable trade can be in the Roman Empire. Will do. Tarsus, peaceful city, little bit of uh, fighting involved. Let's get started. Right, so here we are in Tarsus. As you can see, I've sped everything up again. Now, interesting thing about this being a desert map is that everybody knows that uh, the awesome radius in a desert when you're giving water to your people via a fountain is seven blocks, right? Seven by seven, that's optimal. But you know, I didn't really wanna do that because it's really, really easy. So I found a different way to do this map. Um, a, a little bit different, a little bit different. Uh, obviously I'm fishing because, you know, the whole there's no food source on this map is a lie. There's fish, you can get fish, plenty of meat, more than enough for your people, no problem. Um, but as you can see here, I'm doing a very, very odd shaped block by this, ah, uh, who was it that did this? Uh, it was this really, really great, uh, player at this game, uh, Burglar? No, um, Bruegel? Berg? Per ah, frack, I don't know what his name was. I'm sorry, person whose city, whose, uh, not city, whose block I'm stealing. Uh, he came up with a really, really great alternative to it, where you're able to fit in a lot of people, and it doesn't look like just, you know, your basic boring old square. So I've got that set up, and next thing to do is set up your economy. Get those exports going out. So you can see across from here, the only exports there are are uh, marble and uh, weapons. So I'm setting up both of those blocks immediately, getting people there first, because this is a desert. If I don't establish people there first, this will burn down, and that's not good. We do not want these people burning down. Uh, you can see them moving in, and the beauty about this is it leaves plenty of room to put buildings in on the inside. So yes, I am shamelessly stealing someone else's city design, or not city design, uh, block design, but I love it. It's really, really great. Uh, when I uh, saw what he was doing with his city, I just had to use it. Um, but yes, we can trade lots and lots of marble on this one, so I'm setting that up. Now that I've, 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 yeah, I've got people there. You can see they're really crappy right now. And people are over there. So I can get them uh, jobs into those prefectures and engineering posts to make sure that things like my um, dock and my warehouse will not burn down. Because like I said, those are the most, most, most important things to do on this map. Oh my god, you should... Uh, I did a few test runs on this one. <laughs> It's, wow, setting an entire city on fire is beautiful. Not not in real life, of course, but, you know, in this game, just like watching everything burn down. All you can do is just sit there and laugh at it. I should have been recording. I really should have been recording. I'm, uh, I should have, I should have. And as you can see, I'm still getting some fires. A little bit on the outside, because I don't, I realize I don't have a prefecture there. So, Derp obviously needs ones to go there. I'm amazed my, uh... No, I guess my granary wouldn't burn down because I have a prefecture over by the um, other thing, the wharfs for uh, fishing. Cyrus is upset, of course, because I'm not worshipping her because I'm not growing any food, so she has become our new Neptune. 
Though Neptune is now our friend here, and we are worshipping him because we don't want him to sink our boats. Mars is our friend because we do not want to be invaded. Well, this is a bit of an invasion map, so, you know. Gotta keep him happy. What the frack was that black screen? Whoa. Whoa. Bad transition. I don't know what that was. I'm sorry. There's like a little bit of a space between those two videos. But we are getting invaded. And you can see what we're up against as soon as I find them. Coming up from the north. Spoiler alert, they do that every time. But we've got our uh, people oper operational. Good thing about having to get weapons for trade immediately is that you can get an army immediately. And that you can use it for defense. I'm not having to worry about importing iron or anything. Easy peasy. This map is so much easier than Lugdunum was. That's why I'm doing this all in one video, because Tarsus is just a nice, relaxing map. And you can see my starcraftiness is coming out. I feel compelled to like micro every one of my, my uh, control groups. It's like, you guys, over there! Making sure all is nicely connected. They have to be connected. Oh my god, if they're not connected, then things will start burning down, and we do not want that. We want a nice, short walk around that, and uh, they won't burn. Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. Soldiers going back to fort. Emperor likes uh, getting that iron. He's such a troll. It's like, hey, you know your export? It's going to be with weapons. Oh, and by the way, the thing you make your weapons with, I want a lot of it constantly. Uh, good luck. But I figure that should be enough mines to do the job. And I'm, I'm also being very, very careful in how fast I build up. Because a build like this... You have so much freaking uh, workers, and you're not really using that much. So I'm spamming, you know, Lion or Gladiator Pit Actor Colony Academy to get some of my uh, people working places, and only when I'm satisfied, only when I'm satisfied of where everything is, do I let them build up again. If I let them build up too much, unemployment will skyrocket, and then guess what happens to you? Guess. Can you say riots? Can you say people pulling down your statues? Can you say city on fire? Because I know I can. I've seen it happen over and over and over again. It is quite sad. Yep, had to bulldoze that uh, theater because Idiot was taking the back road. And I should explain this immediately. The reason why I have the road system like this is so that people are touching the road connecting my industry. Otherwise, through a gatehouse, they won't work over there. And I would have to build people over there, and I don't really want to do that. This way, it's all nicely connected. Everyone can go everywhere to work. It's really great. Like I said, the guy, the design for a basic city block that, uh, bur no, brew, brow, burgle, brugal. Oh God, I don't remember his name. But whoever this genius was that created this, really love it. Or maybe it wasn't even his. Maybe he got it somewhere too. I don't really know. But do love that their city block. Oh, so in love with it. Works so great for this map. But, time for another city block, because we need 6,000 people. Can't do that with just one block. Cannot. No, 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 no. Do you need multiple? So, we're doing the exact same thing. 12 across, 4 down on one side, 7 down on another, 7 across. And on the other side, 4 down instead of... Or, 5 down instead of 4. 7 down again, and then across to create this little dip where you can have your, um, uh, words escaping me, fountains and stuff. So essentially you have nice little corners. It's like a nice little neighborhood that you're making. And I'm counting out, it's like, okay, I need to make sure this is at least to there, because it needs to touch the industry a little bit below them, which is going to be, again, my, fi my uh, fisheries, wharfs, I think they're called, sorry. Gods are unhappy, so I keep putting in oracles. I mean, why not? We're up to our eyeballs and uh, marble, you know, when we're not selling them. But most important part is keeping your war your warehouses and your granary centralized. That was the hardest thing in this mission, really. Making sure that middle strip, easy access with the market ladies so they can get their food, their goods, send them to your people. I should have cut this out. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, and again, same thing before I do anything else. 
make certain that I have people there, otherwise, you know, everything will collapse and burn down, because this is a desert scenario. And deserts, apparently, I don't know. Uh, it seems to me that in deserts there are, I don't know, I guess giant ants who've mutated and grown opposable thumbs, which they use to wield magnifying glasses and randomly burn down your buildings. It's about the only thing I can come up with. No nothing else makes any sense. Because your buildings will spontaneously explode. Why? Because the sun's out? I don't... Is it really gonna do that? Maybe the cook fires they're using for their food just go to... I, can, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But they do randomly burn down a lot faster. Well, yeah, they just randomly burn down. If you're in a forest, they don't burn down, so you don't have to worry about prefectures. Just energy posts. Desert? It's just fire. Those magnifying glasses are brutal, bro. But alright, they're set up. They're nicely connected, so wharfs it is. Wharfy, wharfy, wharfs. Now, unfortunately, I think I should have moved that over a little bit, because we're not going to actually touch some of those far... Yeah, some of those wharves by the bridges. You can see I'm like constantly looking for them, and I'm noticing that there's like a little dip there where there's no workers because it's too far away. I take care of that eventually by putting people right across the bridge so that people can go across it and work and it's still okay. So I do have a population there. I don't want to create too many uh, excess population holes, gaps, whatever you want to call them. And again, we're just trying to bleed jobs as fast as possible because this gives us so much. Uh, this was this was a fun city. This was a fun city to do. If you're playing Caesar 3, look forward to this one. This one's nice and easy compared to the previous one. Got a lot of... Yep, speaking of. Here they come again. Hello. Come on. Make sure everything's all nicely done. Checking on employment. And off to fight. Come on, bro. Bring it. Ooh, they're not happy. Get some statues, make them happier. Give them water, I forgot. <laughs> oh, those poor people, no water in the desert. Oh, sucks to be them, right? And I'm spamming again like a dork. Spam, spam, spam. Though I'm keeping my range units nicely back, so we pincushion them while our soldiers kill everyone. Easy peasy. But yeah, this is a nice general area of how to build that. And here you can see we're going to build more people because we have 6k to get. 6k to get. Keep that in mind. So this one do something a little bit different. This one I'm trying to count because I would kind of like to get villas in this. So I need to really be careful of how close I build everything. Because a villa, a was it medium? No, a large villa, I think, turns into a 3x3 three three square, rather than a 2x2, two two. so it needs a little bit of a larger plot land. And of course, you know, gatehouses everywhere to make sure that people don't just suddenly randomly go to, you know, frick, who knows where. I almost made the wharves first, that's a mistake. That would have been a mistake. People first, then the, in then the industry. And I'm contemplating, do I really want to build it this way? It's like, I guess I will, I'll just bulldoze this guy later. Can't get that one, there's no way to connect it, so I gotta bulldoze him. Can't do a bridge, useless, out of there. Okay, connect it all up. That's probably not, yeah. I got rid of the loop, because the loops kind of confuse the game. Last thing you want to do is see your prefectures, you know, walking around in circles constantly while the rest of your city burns down. <laughs> now we can keep that kind of crap in SimCity 2013. And now... 3,000 people has been obtained. I put in furniture, I guess I clipped that out. Uh, you can see that I've got furniture and lumber uh, being created. Well, not. Yeah, I guess. And like everything, I'm trying to keep my uh, area centralized. A lot of different warehouses around here that I can't decide where to put. 
Selling all of our wep our weapons and marble almost instantly, so it's so low. They're buying everything out. Giving us plenty of money. Making sure that everyone's got uh, water. And if they got water, and everything's stable, time to build up again. And there they go. And it's pretty much just like this uh, throughout the rest of the game. It's really, really nice and peaceful. You know, one... Uh, one squad will, or sorry, two squads will take out the enemy. And once you've got your city blocks established, man, it's just building up and spamming academies, schools, libraries, get your uh, culture up. And, or, yeah, and you're good to go. And you're good to go. And now you can see what all of this actually winds up turning into when you're all done. And with everything progressing nicely, this is the final result of this wonderful little uh, design that I'm completely in love with. I mean, once again, you can see uh, overall design is unchanged. This is the same city. I fit people where I could along the edges, and okay, occasionally I get the occasional fire. What, where the frack did that come from? You're welcome for that. Where'd the fire go? Oh, the. Oh god, the prefects are caught on fire. Yeah, my planning for this isn't the best. I'm trying to get the Hippodrome to go everywhere, and... Eh, whatever. A little bit of a mistake. But as you can see here, everything is large insulate, and you really don't need a large area for this. Uh, one thing that I do see a lot of people on um, YouTube make the mistake of is they build everywhere, not realizing how many people you can compact into this area. I mean, they build, like, over in here, and up over here, and they go across and build over there. But there's really no need. I mean, I've got a 7x7 seven seven over here. I've got this area, which I'm trying to turn into palaces. I really, really am. Or villas, or whatever those freaking things are called. I'll show you in a minute. But the problem is, these market ladies, I'm off. I'm off. These should be shifted down a little bit more. Just a little bit, because these market ladies will try to go all the way over here, where as you can see, I have just enough room for a warehouse, because I import wheat to give these guys their second type of food so they go up. But then the market ladies come over here to try to get the wheat. They're prioritizing that wheat, which means these frackers starve to death while these idiots go over there for food. And for some reason when I looked at the game, all of the full granaries vanished. That was weird. It's not like a god thing, is it? No, they're happy. But yeah. How we doing? Boom, 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 100 favor, 100 peace. I had 100 culture, but I had to get rid of some jobs. Meh. I, my population crashed. I tried to get the palaces, but then these guys all flatlined, and I had to frantically start just deleting everything, or my city was gonna die. Maybe I'll put it back and try. I don't know. What do you think? Is that a good idea? I don't know, man. Because right now we're stable. This is a nice, stable structure. We've got food. I mean, they've got plenty of food, like 400 a house, right? So these are in good shape. These are in good shape. Uh, these are in pretty good shape, too. they got lots of food, 340 to 50 a house. They're constantly getting food, not wheat. There is no wheat. Stop trying to get it. Yeah, they were trying to get wheat for a while. Meh. Oh, so sad. Where are we? And you can see, you know, got the wine ready for it, too. Got everything all, got everything perfect. All of these people were going to be villas. And I was going to make these guys villas. It's just not, uh, not happening. It's sad. It's really sad. But yeah, everything's pretty stable. I think. Are we still... Yeah, we're good. Making a bit of money. 
It's kind of going up slowly but surely. There we go, 11,000. Oh, snap. Enemies. Well, you know what to do about these guys. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. What's your problem? There's not enough food here. There is enough food here, shut up. Gladiator school's making you mad, huh? Sorry about that, brah. Here we go. There, instant rise. Anyone else? Anyone else? No, nope, everyone else is good. Um, they're up there again. Alright, here's what I want you to do. Come on. Stop killing those things, Jesus. Alright, you guys advance, you guys advance, you guys prepare a flank. Everyone fight something. Bye bye. All dead. Bit overkill. Oh god, no, you're not all dead. No, 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 no. Oh wait, now they're all dead. Alright, there we are. <sighs> well, we're good now. We're good now. Love the music, though, in this game. I really do. Love the music, love the music, love the music. Oh! Victory! Alright, that's that. Um, I was about to try and get uh, villas again. Tell you what, I'll reload this, and I'll see if I can't quite get a few villas. But I'll have promotion for the moment. Ba boom ba boom ba 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 boom. You are fast becoming my most valuable servant. Easy peasy, bro. Your mastery of trade made Tarsus exactly the city I had hoped it would be. The eastern provinces are more loyal today, thanks to you. You're welcome. Um. Valencia. I think I want to do Valencia. I want to. I want to build a better city in a dangerous province. I might go back and do them later, but a dangerous province won't let me do that. So I'm gonna take this and then I'm gonna reload it. And see if we can't get some villas in there real quick. All right, so we're back here in my city again. Um, and really quickly, I do want to show this. You, I want you to do nothing but accept weeds. Okay. Now, I'm not making that much money for some weird reason. Oh, right. We kind of went into debt. Not into debt. We went really, really low on funds when uh, the civil guy kept getting demands from the emperor for iron, which shuts down, you know, that, so... Uh, was there anything else? I think we were all good. I think we were all good. Oh, right, import. Yeah, we are importing. Okay, good. Let's see about this then. Let's see what happens. Are we gonna go into debt? I hope not. I really hope not. Poor access, but you are accepting wheat. Check, double click, make sure no one else is. Alright, good, no. Um, good, no. Nope. 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 Holy Christ, look at all that oil. Jesus. Uh, if we could sell oil, it would be really good. Maybe we could have. Didn't luck. Someone give us a fracking wheat, you pigs. 
Come on. Someone do it. Someone do it. Someone do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, 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 whatever. Blah. 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 Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. You guys are just gonna go. Whatever. We're taking losses, but I don't care. We're not gonna do any flanking. We're just going to hit them in the face as hard as we can. There you go! Frack, that worked really easy. Alright, someone get me wheat and get me now. Get me wheat, get me wheat. I want wheat. Where's the... No! Five more years. I need wheat! Someone give me the freaking wheat! Holy Jesus. Seriously, what is this? The overall quality holds us back. Love These people. Nah, well. Who cares? Wheat! You frackers. One of you people are giving me wheat, right? That's why I can import it. No, we're not importing it. Oh my god, I'm dumb. Let's try it this way. Oh, there we are. There we are. There we are. There we are. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Got the food! Got a fire! Kind of an important one! Not caring about you! What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Uh, I can't do anything about that! I don't think you have enough room to expand either, do you? Do you? I think my turn loose. Oh, yeah, you do, you do, you do. Ah, uh, but you don't have enough. Um. Sorry. This is for science, bro. I'm sure you understand. Oh, he did it by himself. Sweet. Granary, kidding about. Not enough entertainment? Are you on drugs? There's like a hippodrome and stuff over here that runs right through your area, I thought. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? So we got one, two, three, four pile of villas. Gatehouse, detrimental, ugh. Not enough good stuff here. What was really funny though, just check this. These frackers are gonna starve to death, because when we go to food stocks, we can already see them on their way, right? Yeah. This only has one, right? Only one uh, lady should be coming out of here. So where is this chick going? Come on, go forward, 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 forward. I'm off to collect more supplies. See? Off to collect wheat, and she came from over here. This one is this these are these people are good. I love these people. These people are not gonna do it. When I uh, ran a test on this earlier, this is stable. But these when it's some idiot over here, I think all of them, go jorbling off for wheat. To be fair, if this wasn't ready to upgrade, they wouldn't do it. So maybe it's my fault. Maybe I gave them too much, it triggered, so off they go. I'll have to be careful of that I guess. What's wrong with you guys, man? Second type of food! Seriously, get on it, yo! Uh, I don't want to put another... Do I need another market? See, and these... That, that's the ultimate irony of all of this. I've got these people being extraordinarily lazy and not getting the wheat that's over here for like these houses which want to go up. But these ambitious market ladies will roll anywhere. Like my originals. They're whatever, man. Go as far as we need to. Doesn't matter. But apparently, I do not have enough uh, uh, 
entertainment over here. I must have changed something. Because I did have this chariot going straight through here at some point. Maybe I blocked it off? I must have blocked it off. He must have gone... I think there was a road over here. And then I killed it. Uh, maybe I put that in there in its place. I don't know. Oh well. I guess it won't go beyond this. Beyond a small villa. But we will get many of them more next time. In my next city, we will get more villas. This I promise you. So join me for that. Where we make another awesome peaceful city, but this time we're going to have villas galore. Villas galore, man. Villas galore.